If you're interested in luxury and luxury homes, then this luxury market report is for you. This is your ultimate guide to luxury real estate market data and trends for North America and for our local Silicon Valley market. We will share with you established luxury benchmark prices and key drivers controlling the luxury real estate market. Stay tuned to see what we have in store for you. The last 12 months have seen a gradual alignment of influential factors leading to a perfect storm of high demand for luxury properties throughout North America. The demand for larger homes, estates, and mansions with land has been so great that properties that were previously less desirable are also selling quickly. This month's luxury report reviews five key drivers in the supply and demand chain that are dictating this continued upward trend as discussed by the Institute of Luxury Home Market. So what are these key drivers? Number one, lack of supply. As we review data for April and May 2021, statistics show that while inventory levels are increasing, they are still approximately 38% lower compared to the same period in 2019, pre-COVID-19. If we were to remove overpriced properties, then this percentage would obviously grow still higher. Supply isn't just being reduced by the affluent buying additional properties. It was also highly impacted by seniors, baby boomers, and empty nesters who decided to stay in place. Each spring, we typically see a vast number of listings entering the market from this demographic as they choose to downsize or relocate. It is predicted that early 2021 stay-in-place trend will start to change and homes will slowly trickle back onto the market, especially if the pandemic continues to remain manageable. Number two, insufficient building and construction during the pandemic affected new supply over the past 12 months. And now, the rising cost of materials, in particular lumber, private developer projects are remaining on hold further delaying new inventory from entering the market. Luxury properties and developments that have completed and even pre-development properties are experiencing unprecedented demand. This lack of supply is proving to be one of the most significant reasons that demand is so high for properties that do meet affluent buyers' requirements. The demographic and level of demand has also changed over the last 12 months. One of the major drivers of demand is the emergence of the millennial generation as a major buying force. The majority of affluent millennials are in their 30s. Now that many of them can work from home, their desires to start a family, coupled with the ability to relocate to a lower density community, not to mention securing a low interest rate mortgage, create a perfect storm in favor of purchasing rather than renting. The change of buying direction for baby boomers has also affected home purchases. As many have switched gears due to pandemic-related health concerns of living in densely populated areas, pre-pandemic trends had seen this demographic typically empty nesters aged between 50 and 70 moving back into urban luxury condominiums to enjoy a lifestyle full of city amenities. Many have elected to fast-track their plans skipping this transitional stage and are instead buying their ultimate retirement property now purchasing a secondary or resort community. And lastly, wealth itself. The last significant driver of demand for luxury properties has been the significant increase in both the number of wealthy and the growth of wealth for many high net worth individuals. Economists show that the pandemic caused a broad diversion in fortunes as we entered into a K-shaped economy. Many workers in industries such as tourism, hospitality, and retail were the hardest hit with unemployment and lost wages, whereas white-collar industries such as finance and technology were able to adjust quickly and manage their systems by working from home. Not only did the earnings of many of wealthy rise, but their level of saving increased too, as restrictions prevent normal spending on travel, hospitality, and retail. This gave them the means to buy, helped furthermore historically by low mortgage rates and soaring stock prices, which further padded their wealth and thereby enabled to purchase higher priced properties. So now let's go on really quick and talk about the subject of Silicon Valley real estate. 
total inventory for luxury homes went up 8% year over year in the month of May, with an upward variance of 364% in total units sold. In summary, the Silicon Valley single family luxury market is a seller's market with a 140% sales ratio. Homes sold for a median of 105.68% of list price in May of 2021. The most active price band is $2.6 million to $2.7 million. The median luxury sales price for single family homes is 3.4. Overall, if these trends continue, then predictions are that the luxury housing market for North America will stay very much a seller's market for the next 12 months. However, initial data analysis for May 2021 might be the indicator of the market settling, as more homes have started to trickle onto the market and there have been price reductions for homes that have been on the market for over 90 days. We will, of course, continue to watch to determine if there is a new trend emerging as we move forward in the summer and fall markets. The art of selling and buying in this market needs a critical and analytical approach. Understanding the realities and setting expectations accordingly will ensure that goals are achieved. For homeowners looking to sell their luxury home in today's market, we recommend working with a realtor who can capitalize on preferences of current investors. If you have any questions about the luxury real estate market, feel free to reach out to us. My name is John Reitquist. Thanks for watching. And I'm Claudine Reitquist. Remember, live happy and love where you live.